Hello everyone, this is Sedi and welcome to Sedi Smartverse. For today's video, we will discuss Random Problem 21, which is a viral problem from Facebook. It is entitled, Above or Below. Without further ado, let's get started. So here is our random problem 21, which falls under the category logic. It's our first ever logic problem here in Sedis Matters. So let's discuss the problem. Which answer in this list is the correct answer to this question? 1. All of the below. 2. None of the below. 3. All of the above. 4. One of the above 5. None of the above or 6. None of the above If you want to try this problem first, you can pause the video but if you want to view the full solution, continue watching. To solve this problem, all we have to do is to cancel out the choices based on the knowledge that each of them provide. First, we begin with choice 1. So let's put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 here. All of the below. This means that if this is correct, then these six are correct. However, if choice two is correct, this means that three to six are wrong. However, from number one, it says that three to six are correct, but number two says the opposite, and this is what you call a contradiction. Since there is a contradiction, then number one cannot be the correct statement, which means that number one is not our answer. Okay, let's cross here. Number two says none of the below, which means that three to six are wrong. Which means that we will revert the statement of each one and the inverse of those statements are the correct ones. For number three, we have not all of the above. Number four is one of the above. Remember that we have number two as a check one and since all of the above isn't the correct answer, if this is the case, then there must be exactly one choice above which means that number four must be correct since it says one of the above and there is exactly one correct question, a correct choice here. However, number two says that it is wrong, which means that we have another contradiction in number four. In this case, remember, all of the above isn't true since one is wrong already and number two is correct, which means that this is wrong. However, this leaves us exactly one correct choice, which makes number four correct, which is a contradiction since sad. because of number two, it says that 4 is wrong, which means that choice 2 also isn't the correct answer.
if choice says 1 and 2 are not the correct answer, then so is 3. Which, because it says that 1 and 2 should be correct. And also, number 4 says that one of the above is correct, which is untrue, which means that 4 is also incorrect as well. So 3 and 4 are cancelled out, leaving only two choices. For choice number 5, we can say that it is correct. 1 is not the correct answer, as well as 2, 3, and 4, which suits the description for choice number 5, none of the above, which means that 5 is our correct answer. And to prove it even further, number 6 is wrong, obviously because there is one correct choice. So 6 is wrong and is not the correct answer, which means that our only answer should be number 5. Choice 5 is our correct answer. So that is it for today's video, Kamatverse. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sedis Matters. Also, follow my social media accounts because I post content there on a regular basis. That's it, folks. This is Sedi reminding you to chase your greatest moonbeam and mathematics is incomplete without you. Till next time.